Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a Van Cleef unboxing. I'm super excited to show you the piece that I got because I've been talking about this specific one for a while now so I'm really really glad that I finally have it. I cannot wait to unbox it, start wearing it and maybe give you guys a review comparison in the near future so without no further ado, let's just open this. So I've been wanting this specific piece from the brand for a couple of months now since I got my vintage Alhambra piece in the Onyx so pretty much everyone is gonna know what this is I'm gonna give you a first impression, some boxing and everything so I'm quite excited to see how it's gonna look like stacked with this one it's a necklace, um, it's probably gonna be on the title that it's a necklace so we, we kinda know that let's just go into the opening part so if you have never shopped from Van Cleef I would say that it's always a very very nice experience I've always been super happy never felt uncomfortable before and this is not something that I can say from every luxury brand so that's something that I really appreciate the way that they make you feel issue here was that I didn't get this from the store because I decided to make my life way more complicated so I had to go through uh, some sort of personal shopping service I'm gonna explain everything after I unbox the piece but that's what you need to know I <laughs> didn't get this one directly from store I needed a third party to get it I'm really happy that I got everything like the shopping box and everything that comes inside so here it is and it came with this little things no chocolates this time I'm okay though it's fine but the chocolates are really really good so the first thing that it comes with is this little I don't know what it is um, let's open it up together Okay, so it's this you open it and it's um nice. I didn't get this with this one, but it's a cleaning cloth um, that it says Van Cleef and Arbles. So that's nice, <laughs> I guess. And then we have this other booklet. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be some sort of like care booklet or something. Uh, oh, it's the authenticity certificate. Uh, let's open it up. Okay, yeah, not that you can see the numbers, but basically um, here it says authenticity certificate and on the back it says like the information and it comes right here and on the other section, care advice. Okay, so the piece comes in this little box that has a Van Cleef bow. So opening the box and it has this little green velvet box from Van Cleef and oh, it's so small. I'm gonna try to hide my face so it, so it kind of focuses on the piece, hopefully. Um, but this is the piece and this is my sweet Alhambra in the mother of pearl with gold hardware. I wanted to get this one to stack it with my Onyx, um, so they both two together. Right now my stack is basically the vintage Alhambra in the Onyx with this beautiful idol pendant. It's called the Lena and it has five diamonds and it's lab grown so these are the two that, I'm be that I've been wearing together lately so I'm probably gonna need everyone's opinion if this one with this two is gonna be too much and if I should take one on but let's try it on my first impressions honestly I've tried it on on the store before this is not the first time that I see this piece in person but it took me a while to actually want to pull the trigger on it the first thing that I can tell you is that it's quite small it's smaller than you would expect it i'm gonna see if it's around half the size of the vintage one and also it does move around when it comes to the vintage it doesn't because like it has two loops on the top so it doesn't really move around the chain and this one does i'm gonna try to do in a couple of months when i feel like i've tested it enough a review video of this one comparing it to this one but i want to make sure that i cover everything that you guys want to know about both necklaces so i just wanted to ask you if you have any questions in regards of which one you should go for or maybe just things that you want to know about each piece please leave it in the comment section down below and i will definitely make sure to make a review and comparison of both of them covering everything that i can so it's super informative and useful and not just me rambling about how much i like things because i kind of like to do that a lot but let's put it on okay so here it is on and i kind of really really like it let me just explain this is exactly what i wanted the contrast with the pearl and the onyx and i know we're gonna talk about how i plan to care for it or use it so far I think that I may not start to shower with it just because I'm a little bit too scared but I know that down the road I'm gonna eventually probably start showering with it it's just that I'm honest with myself and I know what I like to do with my jewelry and I don't want to stop using it because I really really like it there's things that of course I'm gonna not do like swim in the ocean with the mother of pearl one but the rest of my pieces I usually do that just because that's what's quite comfortable for me first thing that I can tell you is that the settings that they have for the lengths of the necklaces are very well thought about 
love because you can definitely see that they just I don't know the drop is perfect I'm looking right now at my display just to see how it looks like because I have no idea um, but I don't know if I like it with the idle diamond I don't know if it's too much like if I were to take it away it would look like this and I think that that looks pretty too but I like the idea of having the three of them because you have diamonds you have pearls and you have onyx and that's like a really nice mix but definitely mix and matching is my thing I also really really wanted to get the malachite but that one I'm quite scared of because they told me that it was too delicate I really love the way that they look because there are two different sizes two different stones and I know and I received so many comments about this specific thing but everyone told me that because of my skin tone mother of pearl was gonna be way more flattering to me so I started to research a little bit on that and I understand I know that it probably is but still the onyx one I think that it's so beautiful and just goes with everything and it's very eye-catching this one I get the most compliments I've ever gotten on a necklace because I used to only wear like gold chains or stuff like that oh but I don't know I just really like the way that it looks and I definitely plan to use it constantly I don't want to take it off but for now I'm gonna take it off for showers just because I'm a little bit too scared but if you have the mother of pearl please let me know in the comment section down below how you care for it like if you shower with it or maybe you don't um how it has been holding up thing is that I just tried this piece on in New York I went to New York like a month or a little bit more ago but I didn't buy it because of a couple of reasons number one being that I'm gonna be moving so I don't want to spend that much of my savings and of course I do have my savings that I use for things that I really like but I have a big fish to catch I really want a version 35 so I have a good portion of my savings just directed to that so when I went to New York and I tried it on I was like okay I'm gonna buy it if I pass my exam so it's some sort of like reward if I pass my exam and I was very sure that I was gonna get it so I went to try it on just to make sure that I liked it and just because I really like going sometimes like window shopping so I tried on loved it loved the way that it looked with the onyx so I was like yes I'm gonna get it when I go back home what I didn't know is that we don't have Van Cleef here where I live like there's not a single store so you cannot get it and um, yeah so that was it like I realized that I was not gonna be able to get it even if I passed my exam so then I started like oh man I should have gotten it in New York I started to get so bummed that I didn't and then I was like hey I want it let's just try to find it and go for it so at the end I managed to get it shipped to me which was amazing I'm really happy that I have it now and honestly I'm hooked with Van Cleef I was the type of person that I was not really a fan of the brand because of the flowers and the butterflies and I still don't really love the butterfly collection but I think that I can safely say that I'm hooked I still don't like the bracelets and I, I think right now I'm really happy with the collection that I have but if I were to add something else probably it would be my sweet size um, the earrings probably in Mother of Pearl or Onyx I don't know which one do you guys like more as many of you guys guys told me mother of pearl is probably more suitable for my skin tone so which one do you guys think that would go better honestly like onyx or mother of pearl because i really like both and i don't think that i'm gonna be buying both i don't think that i'm gonna be getting them anytime soon but i mean i'm really happy with the purchase thank you guys so much for everyone who encouraged me to actually get it every time that i mentioned that i wanted this piece everyone was like oh my gosh i love it the size is very cute a lot for every day and a lot of you told me that you actually wear it on a daily basis and nothing has happened to it like you shower with it so kind of hope that that's the case for me and that I am not too scared to do that the price for this one I think it's around 1404 tax and this one is 2500 I think I may be wrong I'm gonna put the actual prices on the screen because sometimes I just mess these things up and I don't want to give you guys the wrong information so I'm gonna put exactly the prices but for what I gather right now what I remember they're worth I do think that my sweet size is worth it because even if it's not like like half the price is a thousand dollars less which I think that it's a very good deal if you really don't want to spend the buck on the 2500 so yeah this one is bigger it's more like a statement piece there's definitely bigger Alhambra pieces but I think that my sweet size is really really pretty definitely something that it's gonna be on my neck pretty much every single day so yeah just let me know guys if you like how it looks with the idol necklace or maybe these two together I think that looks really cute too it just looks good with pretty much everything especially diamonds the way that I ended up getting this one on my hands because we don't have a store here is I contacted a couple of pages on Instagram that I knew that they had brand new pieces from Van Cleef every now and then and I was quite lucky because actually Coco Approved did have this necklace in stock so I got it from him and I just want to give him a quick shout out because he was really good with the shipping it was super fast as of now I think his Instagram page is taken down so I don't have any word that I can send you guys to I have shopped from him before a couple of years ago and I'm really glad that I tried it again 
again he's really nice he's very sweet and i hope that he gets his page back and i think that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching i'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you want to check them out and yeah thank you and see you on the next one bye <music>